Hello, so this is about female confidence in the bedroom. I struggle with self-esteem and confidence in every aspect of my life. This lack of confidence follows me into the bedroom. In the bedroom, I used to be afraid of being on top, uh, thinking I was going to hurt my partner. I also was afraid to try anything new because of the lack of confidence. If the new thing didn't go well, I remember one. So I remember one time I didn't want to try role playing. Um, I wanted to try role playing a little bit, but when we actually got into it, it wasn't what either of us expected. I became self conscious for wanting to try it in the first place. Having confidence in the bedroom is attractive and can create a more open environment for sex. It can open up the conversation for trying new things. Since I struggle with that body image, I found some tips to help females be more confident in the bedroom, even if they have body image issues. Sexual confidence is not about being good in bed. It's not about having ripped abs or big boobs, and it doesn't come from having a lot of sex. While it can mean different things to different people, at its core, sexual confidence is feeling comfortable in your own body and knowing you deserve pleasure and being able to articulate what you enjoy, as well as listening to the needs of your sexual partner. Melbourne sexologist Cassandra Morsky says people often think of it as a performance in and outside the bed bedroom. People who make sexual jokes or talk about sex a lot are often perceived as sexually confident, perceived as sexually confident. But sometimes people are talking about sex in certain ways because they are uncomfortable or unsure about it. If you struggle with sexual confidence or just want to understand a bit more about it, you're in the right place. So, sexual confidence is fluid. Sexual confidence isn't something we have or don't have, explains Dr. Chris Fox, a senior lecturer in sexology at the University of Sydney. Self-confidence is fluid. Uh, so is sexual confidence. I can speak in front of an audience of thousands of people, but I can't stand in front of my family and give a speech uh, without bursting into tears. <laughs> Um, while anyone can be sexually confident, it takes some work. I'm inside my head so much about how my body looks um, sometimes that I'm already shaky. Sexual confidence has taken a hit after weight gain during pregnancy last year. So this is about a client that this person had. Um, so... And sometimes these things happen for me as well. So sometimes my body, because I'm self-confident about my own weight, uh, I don't feel sexy. So some of the things my partner says to me don't feel true. I also find it hard to maintain eye contact um, during sex. And I get inside my head about what I look like to my partner. It affects the pleasure I'm able to give and feel. My partner's never told me I'm never unattractive. In fact, my partner tells me often that I'm attractive and sexy, but I just don't feel it. But knowing all bodies are good bodies and deserving of pleasure is part, a big part of increasing your confidence. When people don't see their body type represented in mainstream media, it inhibits their ability to feel good about their own. Body diversity is seriously lacking. The dominant narrative in the media centers around the pleasure and sexuality of certain types of people and bodies. A good body doesn't look a certain way. It helps you move around through the world. Therefore, it is a good body. Other things that hold us back from feeling sexually confident include being discouraged to be sexual and explore our bodies, whether that be by our parents, school, or partners, and not being taught to communicate our sexual preference. So, what does sexual confidence look like? As well as feeling good about your body, there are other signs of sexual confidence. You may feel more confident in some other areas. Um, so, sexual confidence looks like believing you deserve pleasure. A sexually confident person knows they're allowed to experience pleasure and joy. Understanding and communicating our, your own sexual desires, knowing what you enjoy, and being able to articulate it is a sign of sexual confidence. <laughs> Understanding and listening to the person you're with. Sexual confidence is someone actively listening to the needs of their partner. It's also respecting those desires and acknowledging they may be different from your own. 
Um, setting and accepting boundaries. A sexually confident person knows how to set boundaries and accept those of others. It's sharing what you're willing to do and not do and accepting others' boundaries without holding it against them or feeling rejected. So, I'm going to end this by talking about some five tips for feeling sexually confident in the bedroom. So, one, find out what you're drawn to and what you're into through connecting with different sources. So, different masturbation styles or different partners. Um, and notice how your body responds. Um, be curious about what's going on with your body and your sexual experience. You want to come from a place of non-judgmental curiosity. Uh, you give yourself the opportunity to enjoy, feel satisfied, and confident in diverse experience. Recognize the role of culture. Folks are taught that sexy looks a certain way. Through culture, we also learn and internalize um, fat phobia, colorism, ableism, and ageism. All of the messages inform how we feel about our bodies, both as sexual beings and bodies that deserve pleasure and sex. <laughs> Four, make the shift from performative sex towards pleasurable sexual experiences by practicing mindfulness and noticing thoughts as they shift in and out of your mind. Mm -hmm. And five, learn how to communicate what you want with the people you're being sexual with. Um, so those are the five top tips I found. I have some other ones that I found work for myself because I've never tried what they suggested. Um, so some tips that I've done are play an unfamiliar role or role play with someone with confidence. So it's kind of interesting. You can role play that you have confidence and idealize what you think that looks like. Focus on how your partner sees you. So sometimes I try to focus on how my partner sees me versus how I see myself. Um, splurge and wear some sexy clothing. Sometimes wearing sexy clothing can have oops, confidence. Use some dirty talk. Um, sometimes you can blast a libido pumping song. So it doesn't have to be as slow as romantic as, you know, it can be something crazy, the libido pumping to get you going. Six, dim the lights. And then seven, you can take the reins. Um, experts say that taking initiative is one of the top things men crave in bed. So feel free to get a little bossy. Another thing you can do to give yourself confidence um, is to strip in slow motion. And also, don't forget about foreplay. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.